Hello, welcome back. In this video, we want to continue our discussion on uh, creation of charts in Google Sheets. This time around, we'll look at how to create column and bar charts. Okay, let's head over to our sheet and then see how to create uh, such chart. Okay, so what next we need to do, uh, just come to insert. So now I've not selected any range, right? Just go ahead, click on insert and click on chart. Once you do that, it asks you to add a series to start visualizing your data. Okay, and automatically a column chart has been selected for you. All right, that's the type of chart that we have here now, a column chart. And these are different options of column charts. You see, you have the column chart and you have the bar chart. So the column chart and the bar chart are actually the same types of charts. It's just the representation or the presentation of the bars. The column charts are presented vertically while the bar charts are presented horizontally. So whenever you are presenting your charts, uh, your, your uh, charts, column or bar charts, depends on, depending on uh, the way you want to view that, that chart or how, how much category you have in the chart. Okay, so let's go ahead and add our series. To add our series, uh, of course, just come over to custom or let's leave it uh, still on, on setup. And let's come here, choose a range. Let's choose a range. So the range you're choosing would be the entire uh, data points we have here. It's suggested a range for us. Just select the range. Once you do that, click on OK. Now, as soon as you select that range, uh, Google Sheets will automatically just plot a chart for you. Uh, you know, it's looking funny. So let's see what, what series and uh, rules that uh, the columns the Google Sheet had used to create our charts. So Google Sheet created the chart using the series called rank. The rank is, this is the rank here, the rank column. Okay, and that is not what we intend to do. We want to check um, for, let's see what categorical data set we have here. So if you have any categorical uh, data sets, you can actually play with column charts or bar charts, you know, having creating a chart that, that, that makes sense. So I want to see the, the columns we have. Let's just bring these charts a little bit down just to create space for us to see our column names. And then we can now play with the charts or see how to modify the charts or to present the charts work. Okay, I think we have a column called platform. That platform is uh, the categorical, uh, why is this still not responding? Okay, great. So we have the platform, we have the year, we have, okay, let's, let's create a chart for the, the, general, the, general, the general of each of these, these, these games. So I'll, I'll come over to setup and I want to see my series. Uh, let's add an X. The X axis here should be the, the general, where's the general, that is it here. And when the, if I select the X axis as the general, I go over to the uh, the series. I don't want the series to be rank. I want the series to be the, say, global sales. Okay, so I want to create a chart of what is the global sales for each general, right? And I want to take the aggregate, the sum of this global sales power for each general. So do you see how it appeared now? So these are the generals we have here. Let's see what we have, okay? I don't want all these other series. So this is just checking it by the name, the platform, the year. I don't want all those. I only want the global sales for each genre. I'm going, I'll go ahead and take this off. I'll remove this series. Uh, we'll remove the next series, the platform series. I don't want it to be in the chart. I'll take off the year series. Uh, my computer is uh, pretty slow. I'll take off the year, year series from the X axis. I'll take off the Okay, I think I want the general series, right? I'll take off the, yes, I've already selected general on this axis, the X axis. So on the Y axis, now I'm taking off every other series there. I mean, taking off every other columns from the Y, uh, from the series uh, column. I'll take off the series. I'll take off the NA sales. I'll take off the EU sales. I'll take off the JP sales. I'll take off uh, other sales and I'll take off the second global sale just to have just one global sale. Okay, so this is a column chart for the global sales for each journal. We have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 journals, you know, um, that are presented in this data set. And you can see how the sales 
where the, the, the general with the highest sales is action. So we have a lot of action games being purchased. Yep. A lot of action sales being purchased compared to every other. And the least sold was, uh, I think, strategy. Yes, yeah, strategy is the least sold. Okay, so in this case, if we turn on our data label, yeah, that will make a little bit sense uh, to show us the value or the amount that was that each of those items were sold. So let's just head over to the custom and uh, go to, uh, I think we have it under, uh, this is under the chat style. This chat style, we had that label again. Let's see, uh, I saw it under this. So let's try and turn, where did you get it from the other time? The data label, label series. This file, yeah, on that series. When you come to that series, you go to data labels and then you can turn on your data. It show you the exact amount that was sold, the global sales for each of these uh genre of game. So we have this was uh, one thousand seven hundred fifty one point one eight followed. You can see the list is one hundred seventy five point one eight. So this is how to show your uh, what's it called? A column chart, okay, great. So if I want to make this a bar chart, let's turn off the data label and just play a little bit with this chart. If I want to convert this chart to a bar chart, all I need to do is to come to, uh, uh, no, go to setup and then choose uh, a chart type as the bar chart. Scroll down and select a bar chart. Once you select a bar chart, you have the bar chart represented this way. So that is just the difference between the bar chart and the column chart. Let's move this bar to this chart to a new sheet. So move to own sheets. Once you do that, the chart will appear on its own sheet. So let's rename this as uh, the uh, bar slash column chart. Okay, so this is the bar slash column chart. All right, uh, the edits, open up the edits uh, pin and then make every other edits that you would like to make. I've shown you how to edit all of these. So just go ahead and do that. But note that for bar chart or column chart is uh, the chart that is best used to present categorical uh, variable. So you can see this categorical. I've given you the categories of each of these genre. Let's get back here again. Another categorical variable we have here is the publisher. If you want to see how many uh, the the you want to see the distribution of publishers, how many publisher per or how much sales each of these publisher had made in any of these regions. So let's see publisher by EU sales, right? Uh, I will go ahead and maybe select publisher. The other way to create the chart, you can select the columns of interest publisher and the eu says already once select those two columns then you can go back to insert and select your insert chart and then once you click on insert chart the chart will be created for you automatically so you can see we have the publisher and the eu sales okay let's come over to the setup uh pane to see if what has been set up for us is actually correct so the x-axis is showing the publishers and the y-axis is showing the eu sales this is awesome that is what's just what we want but uh the column charts we have we have uh yes it's selected column chart already and that's the column chart for you so the publishers uh we have uh, quite a number of uh, publishers and that is why you're seeing your column chart appear this way okay so uh that is uh that chart for you all right and uh yes so uh you can move it to its own Move it to its own, uh, what's it called now? Sheet. So you can have an expanded chart. So here's the chart expanded for you. All right. So that is it. And let's call this, okay, still on column and bar chart. Great. So this is how to create a column or a bar chart from using your, your sheets. But note that whenever you're creating a column or bar chart, uh, column and bar charts are actually best used to. Okay, I think we didn't aggregate this chart. That's why it's showing the way it's appearing, this particular chart. Let's aggregate it. Let's use the sum of the, do you want to delete? No, I do not want to delete the sheets. So I want to, I want to aggregate the charts. Let's aggregate the charts, all right? So when you aggregate the chart, then you can see the different sales made by each publisher. So some publishers are making a lot of sales, while other publishers are making almost no sales, right? So we have a lot of publishers right here with the sales, okay? So that is that, and uh, yes. So let's let's move over to this. Uh, so as I, just like I was saying the other time, you can always use categorical data set, uh, present your column chart on categorical data set. And uh, that is uh, how to create a chart. Very, very simple. All right, thank you for watching this again, and I'll see you in the next one.
Goodbye.